Hi, fourth graders. You probably remember this from past lessons with fractions. Um, so I just want to review really quickly. We have a half and a half here. Of course, this rectangle represents one whole, and it's broken into two pieces. One piece is shaded. So one piece out of two are shaded. Then down here, we drew another rectangle. Remember, you probably did that on your boards with me. And we broke it in half and colored in half again, but then we broke it into fourths. We split this side and this side, so we had four equal size pieces. So we named this one two fourths. I wanted to extend your thinking a little bit further today. So we figured out already that one half is equal to two fourths. And do you remember we kind of talked about that pattern that one is half of two and two is half of four? But let's say we want to figure out a mathematical pattern where we're like, hmm, how do I get from here to here and here to here? What do you notice? So we've got, we had one half, and each of those pieces were split into two, right? So we could say one half times one piece was broken into two, and two pieces were broken into two. All right, so we could say that, and that will actually generate an equivalent fraction for us. So we can multiply the one half by two halves, and we'd get two fourths. Check that out. One half is equal to two fourths. We already knew that. We, we figured it out with a picture. But now we can see one half, you break that one in two, and another one in two, and it's now two fourths. They're equal to each other. We didn't change the amount, we just changed the cuts, right? Okay, let's try another one. Let's start with one half again. Okay, so one half is equal to four eighths. We had already figured that out in another lesson, right? So we are starting to notice those patterns, but how can we generate it without the picture? So one half, well, I want to use the picture now, but we're learning for later how we can generate them, right? So one half is equal to four eighths. So thinking about starting with your one half. And then how many times did we have to break that up? So we had a half, right? And we broke the half in half, and then we broke them again. So we had four pieces here and four there. So one half times four fourths equals one times four is four. Two times four is eight. And you can actually prove, oh, hey, I left screen, sorry. <laughs> you can actually prove that one half is equal to four eighths using that picture, right? So you can still see that half of it's shaded and the other half is unshaded. And then you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces, and one, two, three, four are shaded. So it's true, we can use a um, multiplication equation to generate equivalent fractions. Always relating back to the picture. You want to make sure you can understand this. And then once you have that down, we can start moving here, right? So hmm, maybe you noticed just now that if you multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number, it gives you an equivalent fraction. Same thing down here. This 4 and this 4 are the same number. When you multiply the numerator by 4 and the denominator by 4, it gives you an equivalent fraction. It's just broken up into different size pieces, right? All right, kids, your turn to practice. See you next time. Bye.